When it's time to fight the mosquitoes that spread malaria, the health team in northern Uganda does not take any chances. In Lamu, the malaria team is always in touch with the communities. Some of the people who initially felt inconvenienced by the routine of taking off their property have now understood the usefulness of the men and women with the cans. Mosquitoes, there are very many. Mm. That is why we accept this. So this is a very good program. We endorse it 100% and we really urge our community to give it all the support that is required. It is not bad, but it is bad for, for hand and other, other animals. Although she has not seen any dye, she says she watches a chemical spread property like a hawk so that none gets near it. I want all of them to spray each house. However, the district health officer says the exercise has proved difficult to implement because many people go to work on their farms and leave their places locked. I know the community have been raising some concerns and that no, this is a very poisonous chemical and all that. But this has been approved by the World Health Organization. The 2012 World Health Organization Global Malaria Report shows that 135 million people, about 4% of the global population who are at risk of malaria, were protected by indoor residual spraying. The chemicals used in the country have been approved by the Malaria Control Program in the Ministry of Health. There are 12 recommended chemicals internationally uh, by the WHO, and uh, uh, our choice is based on the sensitivity of the mosquitoes uh, in the area where we spray. They are very, very treacherous very tricky. So any chemical used on them, they have got ways of resisting these chemicals, either by denaturing the chemical or by making make sure that the chemical does not penetrate their skin. The trick now is to, we are going to use this chemical for, not, not, not continuously. We are likely to change it in a very near future. Currently we are using Bendocab. Bendocab has a residual effect of about six months. Within four minutes, over 80% of the mosquitoes are are killed, and they are killed dead. I mean, they don't just sleep like with the, 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 the pyrethroids. Then they wake up and then start running away. In a patch district known to have many mosquitoes, most of them highly infectious, it is a wrap with a spraying. This will be done again in the next cycle, after six months. Now, this is something that some of the experts are questioning. Of course, the project will have to think about a long-term plan, probably to get another chemical that could probably last uh, 12 months. DDT is one which could last one year, but you know it's uh, uh, history, demagogued, uh, demonized, and uh, politicized. It is a chemical recommended by WHO as well, and it is what saved South Africa from malaria epidemics. I'm not a spray man, but it seems to have been uh, very effective in northern KwaZulu and when the house spraying was changed from DDT to uh, a pyrethroid in 1995, this sparked off the malaria epidemic. Uh, what happened after the 2000 epidemic, the, the community itself was, was calling for the return of DDT because they knew when there was this mess on the walls they didn't have malaria. So now it's done, which is still around? Oh, we, we, yeah, we, we, until we can get something else that works as well, we're not going to abandon it. In Uganda, why can't we partake of that? Because we've seen it has worked elsewhere. I know um, only in one month they lost over 300 people when they stopped, and they had to resort back, and uh, they are doing very well. Na Namibia is doing very well, South Africa is doing very well. But uh, here in Uganda, I must say that malaria is a political, economic disease. The frontline fighters are not the technocrats, according to this team leader in the malaria control program. If somebody demagogued uh, a chemical and he goes preaching the people like you saw it on DDT, you know, uh, it will take another 10 years to realize that whoever was telling them was telling them uh, fibs, was telling them lies. In 2009, a group of civil society activists sued the government for the use of DDT to kill mosquitoes, but the Ugandan government won the case on scientific facts. So why didn't we bring it back? Well, it also depends on, uh, we can test it again. Uh, if we go to an area and we feel that the other chemicals cannot work, and this works, but if the politics again came back, however much you convince the people, uh, it's just like the nets. People will tell you anything about the nets, and it is easier to believe a devil than to believe Jesus or Muhammad. 
Talking of the mosquito nets, are they still relevant as a measure? South Africa has never used them as an intervention. As we're moving uh, towards malaria elimination, uh, we're also considering how best we can introduce uh, the nets. Their malaria is not holo endemic. It's not there the whole year round. It is seasonal because of their weather like now. They have a bit of winter. So mosquitoes survive between temperatures of 15 and uh, about 30 degrees. So the moment temperatures go below 15, they just also perish. You can use a spray and forget about the nets. Dr. Myers, however, says that oftentimes the nets are used to cover a person who is already infected with malaria. But otherwise, nets are very useful. They would off uh, uh, nuisance mosquitoes and even those which are infected. Coverage in some parts of Uganda, Ava, is still very low. So we've seen your mosquito nets. Do you feel like they're protecting you enough? No. <laughs> Why do you think? <laughs> because of more mosquitoes. It is many years because we are near a swamp. In a year, one person can receive like about 1,500, you know, infected mosquito bites. Many. And the nets are worn out. I know others have been selling them away, abusing the nets, you know, using them for construction of houses, catching fish, and many other things. But again, we appeal to the community members to make good use of these nets. Since 2013, millions of nets have been resting in the government stores. 22 million nets, uh, for, that is one net for every two Ugandans. Well, it has taken too long for the distribution exercise to kick off in a country which is among the top six that contribute to 103 million malaria cases globally out of the slightly over 200 million reported annually. And yet we call this ourselves the pearl of Africa. I think we should be the third pearl of uh, mosquitoes and malaria. But we, we, we are making headway. The little progress made, however, cannot effectively reduce the cases of malaria. Flores Nalimba, NTV Northern Uganda.